my channel. I am Maxime, in case you haven't seen any of my videos yet. Please follow me on my Instagram, which will come down below to not miss out on anything. I am a bagaholic and I think that if you are watching my video, you are just as much as a bagaholic. So welcome to my channel, so happy that you're watching and today will be a video with uh, my current collection. So it will be a catch up video, uh, what decisions did I make so far in this year, we're now in July 2022 and uh, I'm going to uh, speak about my decisions during this year. Uh, I had quite a few changes in my collection and uh, I can't wait to show you my current collection. Grab a drink and stay with me. Alright, so let's start in January 2022. I just bought a mini rectangular from a friend in December and it was the most perfect beige mini rectangular bag that I've ever seen. Such a pretty color and I wanted to add like a beige color bag for already a long while into my collection. However, this bag didn't even make one of my videos because I was so afraid to use it. So I was like saving this bag for spring summer and I only used it once when we went to Antwerp and I was afraid all the time. We went shopping and it has the perfect crossbody size, um, a mini rectangular and I think it fits quite a lot, it's definitely more than in a wallet on chain. So for me it is like the perfect mini bag. However, the color really um, got me scared all the time and I love to wear casual looks like with jeans and if you wear beige and jeans it will get discolored uh, on the back which I really don't like. Also, I live in the Netherlands so we have lots of rain here and even in the morning when the sun will shine in the afternoon you can have rain, you never know it. So. Um, and then also it was lambskin leather, so I'm afraid that it will scratch, uh, I will scratch my nails. And then I think you will see it more on a beige bag than on a different color. It, it will, yeah, pop out. So I was super afraid to use it. And then in March, end of March, I got a call from my uh, essay in Brussels. And she told me that she had like the perfect green... 19 and um, I asked her obviously otherwise she wouldn't have called me but I said like I'm looking for a 19 in like a fabulous color it should pop out and I really wanted yeah I really like the 19 in a color so she said well I will call you when I have one and she did so let me get that one it's this stunning 19 bag i think it's such a perfect bag it is like the perfect bag for me for sure i think this color stands out with so many clothes and um, when i was thinking about this bag i did a poll on my instagram and i was like do you like this bag and there were lots of people like hating on this bag so I was wondering, yeah, shall I still continue with it? Because I need to drive all the way to Brussels, which is like two and a half hour drive for me. But then my best friend wanted to come and I was like, yeah, let's make a nice uh, day out of it, like a city trip and we'll go have lunch, we'll go to Chanel and get this bag if I really love it and let's just do it. So we went up there and I saw a glimpse of this bag like in the dust bag she she held it and i was like this is my 19 this is the 19 that i was looking for all the time and i have tried on so many 19s i mean i think even like 20 or something and uh this one just made a difference for me it's a perfect size as well it's the uh, large former medium and uh i think it's perfect it's goat skin leather it's made in france Obviously, you can tell that I sold my beige because I am a person who is not good in saving money. So when I want to have another bag, I have to sell one. So I work with the policy, one bag in means one bag out. And um, I got an offer on my beige uh, mini rectangular that I just couldn't refuse. And then I decided to get this one. And um, until today, I'm not regretting my decision. I think she's so versatile. She's so easy in use. I'm obsessed with the goat skin leather. I'm giving you an upfront of it. And I love the puffy feel of it. I think you can also wear it so nice as such a 
pouch or something and oh, I'm just super obsessed with the color it's different in every light and it seems like you will see if you go to my Instagram it seems like I have 10 green bags but it's all the same different colors hardware makes it very easy to style it with my clothes and um, I think it fits with a lot of my outfits I mean not maybe not as good with this one that I'm wearing now but with jeans leopard it's perfect really obsessed so right after me buying the 19 I got an offer for a wallet on chain and um, it was in caviar with gold hardware yellow gold hardware as I prefer and I just couldn't resist so I had to sell the uh, previous uh, wallet on chain that I had which was a bit older from an older collection and uh, I wanted to have this one because it has like the new features as the golden zipper so luckily I was able to sell the other wallet on chain pretty quick and I was able to get this one in Amsterdam uh, I'm super happy with it um, it is the perfect companion when you're going to amusement parks you can keep it on while you're driving i used it on my recent trip to spain it can fit uh, passports like easily and i really uh, love the design of the wallet on chain with the small mona lisa pocket on the back it has a beautiful chain and um yeah you can um, fit quite a lot in this tiny little SLG because this is not considered a bag it's a small letter good so yeah you would say like oh you're so happy with this bag don't ever sell it again however I wouldn't be me if I wouldn't be always watching videos about bags new bags like the new collections also older collections I'm always looking for a new bag and I wish it was not true but it is unfortunately so I was browsing on my Instagram and and I saw this like stunning unicorn bag and I was like sold immediately so I contacted the personal seller who is um, selling that bag that unicorn bag it's a super hard to find bag and um, I'm, I'm just so curious it's so hard for me to not tell you which one it is because I really want you to guess in the comments below uh, what you think that my next bag will be but again of course Maxime didn't save any money so unfortunately this baby is leaving so this is the last time that you will see this perfect made in France wallet on chain because she's going to a new owner but the reason that I'm selling my wallet on chain is because I have like a hate love love hate relationship with it I really love the fact that I can uh, wear it with uh, when I'm out with my kids without any worries because of the caviar leather because of the size um, I think it's a very light bag so it's very nice uh, that you are not walking around with a heavy bag um, however, uh, when you want to carry a card holder, uh, which I'm always carrying, instead of putting the cards in the wallet on chain, um, your wallet on chain is almost full right away. And sometimes I just need more than um, my card holder and the lipstick. So, yeah, I love it and I hate it sometimes. So, I thought I'm going to sell it. I am not sure if I will ever buy this one again if so maybe in a different color for now I'm saying goodbye to this beauty so goodbye I loved you but she is going to her new home so I just I'm a bit afraid that I will regret it but I probably won't because you haven't seen my unicorn bag yet and I have so I'm waiting patiently for this bag to arrive to me I think that will be around end of August so then I will definitely make an unboxing video about that one with you guys and um, yeah it's just super super gorgeous and some people say that the material that I've chosen is a bit fragile um, but however I decided I'm going to use this one um, well not as a daily bag but definitely more than just sitting on my shelf being pretty so yeah well last year I bought my classic flap which is which is a classic flap in size small um, it's also caviar leather with yellow gold hardware um, 
and it's yeah it's perfect it's like in new condition i'm very careful with this bag uh, it is my evening bag. It's uh, you can also use it as a, a daily bag because I can wear it cross body uh, because I've chosen the size small and I'm just yeah super obsessed with this bag. I think this is like Chanel. If you're saying Chanel, then this is the bag you're talking about. And um, I think my decision of selling the wallet on chain which is quite yeah it's a little bit similar to this one uh for me because it's the same color same material that will make it a bit easier for me uh, because i know that i still have this one also when i bought this one um it was already quite a high price however it's now almost double so this is investment wise a perfect bag just a small close-up for you guys and as you can see, I'm always storing my bags with love, so they are practically all new. But then I was thinking, okay, so I have my classic flap, I have my 19. 19 is a perfect daily bag. However, if I'm going to the amusement parks and I'm going a lot with my three kids, I do need a bag that is first of all ready to use, carefree, um, and if I made the decision to sell my wallet on chain, which bag will be the perfect replacement for my wallet on chain? So it's definitely not the size, definitely not the same size as my wallet on chain, but it's the Louis Vuitton Noé BB. So it is a very unique bag, I think, a classic bag from Louis Vuitton, originally made uh, for champagne, it's the Noé in the bigger size and this one is the smaller size of the Noé and it's the Noé BB. Um, it comes with a long shoulder strap which makes it very easy to wear crossbody. And then uh, Dress Up Your Purse was as nice to send me this non-branded short uh, top handle so I can use it as a top handle bag as well. And then I have this gorgeous bag charm on there. And I received that uh, as a Christmas gift from my parents two years ago. So I think it's super cute with this bag. And uh, I really love that the fascetta is already colored. I bought this from uh, someone else, so it's vintage. This is like a super nice bag. You can easily grab something out of it. It fits like a lot, like a lot when you open it. I'm not sure if I can show you, there's a lot of rubbish in there. And when you tie it up, you can make like a nice bow and super cute. I love this so much. Yeah, so yeah, I brought it on my uh, vacation to Spain. So you will see lots of uh, pictures with this baby on my Instagram at the moment. Uh, all right, so let's play back bits because I'm going way too fast with my story. Because when I was thinking about buying the 19, I also decided like two weeks before that, that I was going to sell my entire Louis Vuitton collection. So I sold the Kipo, I sold my uh, pouch, I sold my Matisse, I sold the Noé BB. Um, and then, yeah, after me deciding this month, last month, that I'm taking away the wallet on chain, I need another bag, which is very easy in use with kids and also carefree. I decided to buy the Noé BB again. I used to be a Louis Vuitton girl always. So it was, I already felt like a bit of pain in my heart when I was putting away my entire collection except for the coin purse. And when I bought this one again, I was like, I should at least have one Louis Vuitton bag. And um, the Matisse is such a nice bag, don't get me wrong, but lots of people have it. And uh, I always like things that not everyone has. Not a lot of people own this one, so I'm happy that I have one and yeah, it's super easy in use. All right, so last but not least is my Chanel Yumbo Maxi flat bag in lambskin leather. It's from the 90s and it is in perfect condition. So that's why it's stored uh, at the moment because I'm really keeping that bag as an investment and I'm really careful with it, but I'm going to show you quick on my Instagram. So this is the bag that I'm talking about and it's perfect. 
it's on my Instagram if you would like to have a close up and it's also in one of my previous videos a comparison with a classic jumbo um, which is from the current collection and this is uh, a vintage one from the 90s in perfect condition and I'm so lucky that I was able to get this one um, into my collection so that's why I'm keeping it safe so my current collection at the moment is the Chanel Jumbo Moxi flat back, the vintage one, a classic flat back in small, a Louis Vuitton Noé BB, a um, Chanel 19 in size large, and then I will be adding a unicorn bag instead of my wallet on chain. So stay tuned and subscribe yourself to my channel to don't miss out on the unicorn bag that I'm buying. And if you have any idea what my next bag will be, place it in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.